All right, so up until now, we've been watching the Imagination Land uh, trilogy. So you've watched episodes one and two. Um, what is our, you know, our imaginations running wild, right? What are we going to do? We're going to nuke our imagination. Um, that's, that's the plan. Good, good, good plan, right? Um, I mean, again, this is another episode that's commenting on creativity or the lack of creativity and the inability to um, think critically. This specifically, though, if we look at what the satire is specifically directed at, it's largely at the United States um, government and military and its handling of the U.S. war um, on, on terror, right? And its framing of the U.S. war on terror, um, its plans to, you know, against the threat, the so-called threat, of terrorism in the United States um, and, you know, military, military um, tactics as tied to the government. Also gets into Hollywood um, directors, M. Night Shyamalan, you know, whatever, however they do that. Um, so it goes into Hollywood directors and again, a lack of creativity um, in them, ability to think creative to, creatively. They rip into Christianity. Uh, again, another <clears throat> a religious belief system that South Park avidly rips into. Um, they go after everybody, as we'll see uh, in the next class when we talk about episodes 200 and 201. And continual, continual rip into Al Gore and Man Bear Pig. Um, his whole climate change... Uh, you know, campaign that he's, he's run. So they rip in. So those are the, the overarching rips. But the satire is largely on uh, when a government is faced with a problem, they tend to lack the ability to think critically and therefore lack imagination when trying to solve the problem. We are seeing this shit on full out 100% blast off in our faces every fucking day with this coronavirus shit and the government and how they're handling it. This federal government. Holy shit! Talk about motherfuckers not thinking critically or creatively to solve a problem against a war on the unseen. But this explores, you know, in many ways beyond that, like how important our imaginations are, the value of having uh, imaginations and, and thinking outside of the box. I think some, you know, South Park is a great example of the value, just the show itself, the value of having an imagination and thinking critically and thinking creative, creatively, um, you know, and... It's very interesting at the end where they offer up, you know, like Luke Skywalker is just as real as Jesus, you know. Um, is Jesus real? Is this real? You know, like it gives you a good way of questioning reality and what is, what is real. And that's a highly subjective thing because for some people, Luke Skywalker is more real than Jesus. These are the motherfuckers who are wearing you know, coming out with their lightsabers when a new Star Wars movie comes out all the time, you know, which is the equivalent of, you know, someone eating the flesh and drinking the blood of Christ symbolically, um, you know, or whatever, you know. So it really brings an interesting question of what is real. And what is real is often in our imagination, what we imagine to be real. And that's a really interesting part where Butters has to, you know, imagine reality. But I think, like, what this also really gets into is how, um, you know, solutions to problems are simplified, oversimplified by a government that lacks imagination. Again, we are seeing this shit on Front Street um, right now. Um, you know, and many of these, you know, policies, ideas, etc., they're very unimaginative. They're not really thinking critically. They're not thinking um, at all or using their imaginations in any sort of way 
um, to kind of deal with, with, with a crisis. Um, and I think that's really important that it shows that, you know, in general, this show and the current situation kind of highlights to many of us, you know, um, damn, there's some dumbass motherfuckers that are douches and turds that are making decisions for us or lack of decisions for us. But the underlying strand in the whole trilogy is who, who's captured our imaginations? The, the terrorists have. And we can think of terrorists in, in, in a very, I would think beyond just actual terrorism. I mean, COVID-19 is a terrorist. It's an outside threat to equilibrium, to balance. Okay, uh, I mean, in ter- who is a terrorist? It depends, right? What's the enemy in the 60s? It was, it was Russia and the Soviet Union. You know, I don't know. It's just a bizarre, it's a bizarre thing. But what happens is once fear takes over, right, and there is an element of terror you know, you tend to lack the ability to think creatively, to think imaginatively. And that's one of the main comments here is on how the United States handled their war on terror was um, without any element of imagination or really not thinking um, outside, outside of the box. And they are encouraging us to think outside of the box. There's a lot of intertextuality in this episode. Um, I mean, just eons and tons and tons of it with all of the evil characters. Um, there's, you know, uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Predator, Alien. Um, you know, so a lot of movie, movie references. Um, and then, obviously, it's um, self-reflexive in the sense of the Christmas critters. <laughs> uh, uh, show up, um, and you know. Then there is um, Journey to Imagination. You have Dream Finder, which is uh, you know a little little Disney, little Disney situation. Um, the mayor uh, himself is imagined after that. You can see the the image of of Journey to Imagination. All right, so let's watch this episode. Let's finish out the trilogy. Just, again, think about, as we conclude, like the value of having an an imagination. And, again, what, you know, what is the threat here? Now, when thinking about patriotism and and immigration, right, again, we're thinking of threats. We're thinking of national cohesion against, uh, unified against, something, um, you know, standing together, having pride in something. In this essence, the threat is our own creativity. Okay, and this, our sense of our own pride in our country and protecting those interests, right, come at the expense of our imagination. So just think about how that manifests in this episode, and then we'll talk a little bit um, about the book chapters after.